We're dealing with probability, and this particular question is dealing with a deck of cards, uh, and it's a standard 52-card deck, uh, and what that basically means is we're going to have our normal kings, queens, all of that. We're not including jokers in this particular one. 52-card deck does not include any jokers. Okay, so this one asks us, what is the probability, probability that a card drawn at random from this deck of 52 cards is a 4? And then we need to round our answer. Well, we need to figure out... Um, how many cards are in the deck? Obviously, it tells us 52, so that kind of helps a little bit. Then we need to figure out how many of those are going to be a 4. So we need to think about decks. Uh, we've got clubs, uh, hearts, diamonds, spades. Here's kind of a diagram of all of the 52 cards in a standard deck. And hopefully this helps a little bit. And what we're looking for are um, cards that are a 4. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way down. These are considered face cards. All of these are face cards because they have a face on it. The ace is over here that is not considered a face card. But this particular one, we're looking here. So we've got a total of 52 cards. So probability is the number of desired results over the total number of possible outcomes. So possible outcomes, if we're taking a card, uh, we have 52 different possibilities that we can um, end up with. So we need the desired one, and we need to look and see how many of these are going to be our desired ones. Well, I see my fours here. Hopefully you can realize that there are four different fours that in a standard deck. So those fours, there are four of them. Now we can simplify this four over 52 is really one over 13. Now this one didn't ask us to leave it in uh, fraction form, it asks us to round it to the nearest thousandth. Thousandth is three decimals, so I just take one divided by 13 and I end up with 0 .077. And that would be my answer here. The big thing is when you're dealing with any of these um, card decks, is just trying to determine how many cards are in the deck and which one where they're placed. So you can just go back through this and kind of figure out how many you've got in each one. Uh, but your probability, remember, is your desired um, results, in other words, fours, divided by the total number of possible ones that are out there.